Navy. It's your girl M I Y A H and your boy D O N Y. Hey, 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 hey,
that way. The uh, base. Tilapia or whatever you want to call it. I'm not putting that much on there because, yeah. Right there. And now for the flowering. I need to check this oil, grease, however you want to put it. That is definitely get that. And I'm proud of myself because usually I put too much flour in this little thing where I'll be flouring the uh, fish in it. So where I'll be having like a whole bunch of flour left over and stuff. And then also, <clears throat> from time to time, I take some flour and I cover it. Because sometimes, like, I guess the fish should, you know, I don't know how to put it. But then, like, after a while, once you, like, finish flouring the chicken, I mean, not chicken, but the fish, or, hell, sometimes happen with chicken, too. But when you flouring it, like, you can start seeing, like, like, drop. Excuse me, I just burped, I'm such a pig, excuse me. But um, you can see the jaw patches. So I like to, excuse me, I burped again, excuse me. But yeah. But right now, I'm waiting for the grease to start bubbling. Like, it was on high, but I turned it down. So I was like, I'm still awake. So. I 
But y'all, if y'all don't know a way to uh, check to see if y'all uh, grease is like hot enough to start, you know, putting things in, putting the uh, food in, I am about to show y'all a trick that my dad showed me. So you're gonna take a pinch of flour, a nice little pinch of flour, and get your pinch and you go drop it. Uh-oh. You drop it in the grease and when it's sizzling like that, it's done. Let me try it one more time just to make sure. Make sure I'm not tripping, you feel me? So I got my flour and as you can see, the grease is hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip the fish in there. See the water's going down in the plate in the uh, potatoes, so time for us to get a fork and check them. Uh oh, they're falling apart. So the potatoes are pretty much done. Well, almost done. It's not quite done. So, yeah. Those cook a little more. So y'all, as y'all can see, I just took the potatoes off the stove. So now I'm about to mash the potatoes. Usually, most people would use a, a, a masher, but I don't have a masher, so I'm gonna use a fork. <laughs> so let's get into it. And be careful because they are very hot. I mash them as soon as I take them off the stove.
And usually I would make a vegetable with it, but I'm not gonna lie, I did not feel like uh, doing that. And plus, I thought of the last minute. <laughs> And if you want to not, then I peel the skin off because to me, I like the skin. The skin tastes good to me, so I be eating it. But if you want to, you can uh, peel the skin off uh, before or after you decide to um, cook or mash them. But yeah, they are done. So now I'm going to add some cheese to it. garlic whatever little bit is left up in there garlic salt
the out. This is the finished product. Yes, and I'm on that little slit in it. <laughs> that was some chicken and shit was done. And yes. But make sure y'all give this a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. To see more content and stay tuned because more is on the way. Peace because I'm about to lose it.